Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to the Guidebook of the Week series, where every week we will discover a guidebook we've created. And you'll see that the different guidebooks we'll view are really catered towards either different industries, but also different types of production. So whether you're doing high volume production, if you're doing lower volume, but with a high mix of products, uh, if you are doing maintenance maybe or audits, we'll all um, cater to your needs, of course. But to start the series, uh, we'll begin with uh, one regarding electrical assembly. And this is probably one you've seen before if you had a demonstration with us. Um, essentially, it's just a simple work instruction to, to begin with. Um, some pictures, some annotations, no videos or, or funky stuff. But the reason why I want to start with that is to be able to look uh, at the difference between VKS Lite and Pro. So we'll look at the VKS Lite example first, uh, and then we'll look uh, at the uh, Pro example where we've added some forms and where there's also uh, productivity monitoring in there. <clears throat> so let's start things with the Lite one. Uh, will you be doing production work? Yes. All right, let's start this. And as I said, this is a really simple one uh, where you have some pictures as your step. Uh, most of the step is only containing one picture, and then there's some text annotations on there. And then, as every guidebook, you can just move through your slides to advance. Uh, here we can start everything with an alert. Great to stop down the operator for uh, when there's a critical element or maybe you just created a new revision. You want to make sure they stop and are aware of a new change you've added. Then adding the alert is a perfect way to cater to this. So again, nothing nothing too fancy here. What's really important to, to remember is when you're building an instruction, you're trying to put pictures really taken from the point of view of the operator. So if you are onboarding a new employee, they would know exactly what to do. No more trying to decipher certain drawings and a big paragraph of text. Uh, this becomes very obvious for uh, the new person, the new trainee, um, to, to know exactly what needs to be done, of course. So here you see the different types of annotations. Sometimes you can use text and arrows, some labels like this. Uh, and then you can even use uh, little droplets if you want to show when there's a certain sequence of screws in this case to, to assemble. We'll move on to step 19 because um, I just wanted to show you can also assign text with those droplets. It's a good way to point out part numbers um, or as I said before convey a certain sequence or you can maybe uh, attach text displaying maybe the, uh, the torque that is required if you're in certain screws or bolts. And then we'll get done with our first unit. And VKS is going to send us back at the beginning. But this time, we are skipping setup steps. So the second time we run through and build our second unit, uh, it takes less time because we're skipping those maybe easier steps uh, that you don't necessarily have to, to see twice. But if you need to, you can always preview uh, those other steps to, to see what it, what it does. So we'll close that like guidebook. So let's close this tab and then do the same thing for the pro example. And you'll see the layout is displayed differently. Uh, this is something you can customize um, in between your, your instructions. So will you be using this guidebook for production work? Yes. And the first thing VKS Pro will do now is ask us if we want to continue a job that started but was not finished yet. So essentially, every time you open an instruction, you can tie it to a work order. And let's say your shift is over. You can just leave and pass it over to somebody else. Or maybe the next day uh, you come to the computer and you want to continue what you've been doing. So then you can pick an unfinished work order from this list. And VKS is going to send you back exactly where you were uh, with the right amount of uh, units completed. But in our case, let's just start a new job. So let's select new start and here is where you can assign the work order to your uh, guide session and this is important because in vks pro every time you open an instruction it's going to generate a production report and you want to tie that report with all the data you've captured to that production number 
And again, it can be a production number, but it can be a work order number, a batch number, anything where um, you can uh, identify the current session to something relevant probably in your uh, ERP. So let's just enter a work order number. And usually this form um, is actually entered by scanning a barcode. So the operator wouldn't really have to fill in all the fields there. And this form can also be customized. Uh, you can add new fields if you want. Uh, you can delete some of the fields in there. Uh, but yeah, usually it's entered by scanning a barcode. Or if you're using our enterprise suite, uh, then this information can be pushed directly from your ERP. So there's nothing to, to enter here. It's already filled. So let's hit save. Uh, and now it's essentially the same thing. We see our step in the middle. We can preview the steps at the top there. But now we have relevant information in the productivity monitoring box in the top right. So it's going to show us the time that we have for the job based on the expected times. Uh, the number of units we need to build, how many units we've built so far, how long we have to set everything up. So the steps that you only have to do once, such as uh, cleaning the workstation, grabbing all the tools, grabbing all the parts, uh, you can assign time specifically um, for, for when you're, uh, you're doing that initial setup. And then it's also showing you the time that you have for the current unit you are working on. There's some other extra elements added on the side as well. Um, so in this case, there's some drawings that are attached. And this is something you can do in VKS Lite as well. Uh, it can be a drawing. It could be a video that you open from the side. It could be a PDF uh, if you want. Uh, and then we'll just move through the steps. And the difference now is we will have data capture forms that will open from time to time. So forms, again, are VKS Pro feature, and everything we enter in this form will appear in our production report, so we get the traceability on everything. And when you build forms, you can even put some fields that are required. So in this case, I can't even continue my job unless I really scan my serial number and just uh, answer my little quality check there. And then again, I move on, and I've got these forms that open on specific steps, which is good when you're doing low volume work, where you just navigate to your instruction. Every time you're about to leave, for example, step seven, you have this form show up for every unit that you are building. Some forms can also be open manually. Uh, so instead of navigating through your instruction to get them open, you can simply click on some forms um, that are displayed on the right of your instruction. So for example, you got a non-conformance. Well, obviously you don't want this to open for every unit you're building. So it's on the side. And if you do want to report that in CR, you just click on your form. It shows up on screen, fill in the information there and everything will be saved and tracked. This form though, it is set up to actually be sent via email to, to your quality department as soon as you hit save. So in that case, those people would be notified on the spot that you have an issue. And also this forms comes with context. So in the email, uh, you'll be able to find the name of the user, uh, the work order number, the quantities he's produced so far, when did he start his job, what's the product, uh, what's the department. So the quality department would know where to go on the shop floor and they would have just more context on how to handle uh, that issue, of course. Uh, there's another form here. It's called quality, uh, contact quality. Uh, very simple. This is just a form to sort of do communication. Very simple. Just a little checkbox. But this form also gets sent to quality inspectors. So they would get a notification uh, where it would tell them to come here and basically help the, the operator with that. So you can have forms to send to the quality inspectors. Your forms could be sent to maybe the maintenance department, supervisors, engineering, whoever you want. Um, here we see the little droplets are different in this case. They're called operation droplets. And you usually add those uh, when you really want to convey a sequence because as you move through the steps, they will just blink uh, one after another, as you see here when I move. And again, you continue going through your instruction. Uh, final little quality check there and moves you back 
at the beginning after your first unit, and then you start again. And again, you'll only go through the steps where you need to do data capture this time in VKS Pro. So you can skip everything else, uh, but you make sure that at least the data you should be capturing is being captured. And that's about it for our guidebook of the week. So again, very simple. Uh, you kind of see what you can do with Lite versus Pro. Uh, and in terms of creating the instruction, I mean, the the uh, productivity monitoring, this gets done uh, automatically. The report gets automatically generated. Uh, your forms to track the uh, work order information at the beginning gets added automatically. Same thing for your non-conformance report. So in terms of work to go from Lite to Pro, there's not a lot of added things you got to do. All you got to do essentially is add those traceability forms that you need. Other than that, it doesn't take you more work, but you get lots of additional benefits with all the data you will be capturing, of course. Cycle time information, efficiency information, uh, total setup time, total production time, total amount of time that the person was put on pause, and every little form you have there will be time stamped in your report. So you know who fills it, but also exactly when it gets filled. And you even have time stamp for every time the instruction gets put, puts on pause, uh, when it resumes, if somebody sends a message, uh, you'll all get that information that you can export to Excel or if you're using Enterprise, you can use our API to extract that data and push it to, to other software. So thank you for, for listening, uh, everyone, and uh, just uh, be there for our next releases where we will uh, discover different features and also different uh, industry where you can apply VKS to.